Hello friends, how are you? Okay, so let's start today's class. Today we will be doing what should we do? Come, let's start linear equations. Linear equations in two variables. In two variables. This is mainly for class 10 but in class 9 also you have this chapter right so you can say that this chapter is a combination of class 8 class 9 and class 10 in class 10 cbsc is stated as pair of linear equations why pair of linear equations there will be two equations and there will be two variables by now I suppose you know what are the variables and what are the constants, right? Okay. Now, these linear equations in two variables, we need to solve it. We need to solve it. And any linear equation in two variables, we know there are two methods to solve it. One is algebraic method and one is geometric method right all the students of class 10 all who have done this in class 9 right so one is algebraic method and the other is geometric method okay first let me first let me take some equation i take very simple equations okay <coughs> let's take x minus 2y equals to 0 I write it. X minus 2y equals to 0. This is one equation. And the other is 3x plus 4y. 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. Minus 20 equals to 0. Okay. So this is say one pair. Okay, so what was the equation? The equation is number 1 x minus 2y equals to 0. And in class 9, we already have learned that those who are the students of class 9, let me tell you, any equations we should form in this form, right in this form, ax plus by plus c equals to 0. That means, that means in this equation A is equals to 1, B is equals to minus 2 and C is equals to 0. Right? Because we can write this in this form. AX plus minus 2Y plus 0 equals to 0. Similarly, the secondary equation 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. I can write 3x plus 4y plus minus 20 equals to 0. Right? That means <coughs> for this equation, my a will be 3, b will be 4, and C will be minus 20. Please, please and please learn how to write any equations in this form. This is very, very important because in this chapter you have to find out A, you have to find out B and you have to find out C. Clear? Understood? So, there are two equations. This is number one. Sorry, this is number 2 and this is number 1. So I can say like this, this is A1, B1, C1, A1, B1, uh, sorry, A2, B2 and C2. Right? Okay. So here A1 how much? 1. B1 how much? Minus 2. And C1 how much? 0. And A2 how much? 
थ्री बी टू हाउ मच फोर एंड सी टू हाउ मच माइनस ट्वेंटी राइट ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट माई फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन नाउ फर्स्ट लेट मी सी हाउ कैन आई रिप्रेजेंट इट इन द एज ए ब्रिक फॉर्म इन द एज ए ब्रिक फॉर्म ओके फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी नो दैट इन इक्वेशन वी शूड ऑलवेज राइट इन दिस फॉर्म ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड देर इज वन मोर फॉर्म वट इज दैट फॉर्म Do you remember y equals to mx plus c? Better before watching this video, please go to your channel, Ryan Tutorial, and see the linear equations with two variables for class nine. Then it will be better for you to follow. So we have to write this equation in this form. Fine. So I have to write this side. So minus two y equals to x goes that side. Zero, no need to write. This minus this minus gets cancelled. So y equals to x. Now, now what should I do? Let me draw chart x y and let me take. Two points. You can take three points also, but I am taking just two points. <coughs> That means whatever will be the value of x, the same value will be for y. No, I made a mistake. Yeah, now it's right. So y will be equals to x by two. That means that means if X is equals to two. Y is equals to one. If X is equals to four, Y is equals to two. Am I right? Okay. So, what is the solution for X and Y? The solution for X and Y I got here: two one and four two. Clear? Now, what is my second? The second equation is 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to zero. Bring this in this form. So y put here, 4y equals to this one jumps to that side plus 20 or y equals to minus 3 by 4x plus. So if x equals to four, then four and four gets cancelled. So here becomes minus three. Minus three plus five, y becomes two. We need to take one more value. Suppose I take x equals to what should I take? Let's take x equals to eight. So four to the eight. Four to the eight. Two three the. Six minus six plus five minus one. So here for this equation, the solution comes four two and two minus one. This is the algebraic representation of these two or this pair of linear equation. Is that clear? Very very clear. Okay. Now, how should we represent it in the geometric form? Let's try. Draw a graph. Obviously, in the graph paper, not in your copy. <coughs> so this is x-axis. This is y-axis. This is origin. Now. 
for this one 2 1 let me say this is uh, 1 no let me say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 okay again this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 Okay, I need to five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now it's okay. So this is my axis of coordinates. Now for this one, the point is two one. That means two one. It will be here. Then 4, 2. Here is 4 and here is 2. So this point. So what we need to do? We need to just join this straight line. Join these two points and extend both the sides. So this equation becomes x minus 2y equals to 0. So this is the geometry representation of this equation clear similarly for this one 4 2 same point this one okay then 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 is this one so minus 1 this is 2 minus 1 so I need to join these two points and then extend it. So this became my second straight line 3x plus 4y minus 20. Where should I write? Better I write here. 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. Understood how to represent in algebraic form and how to represent in geometric form? Clear? So this is for first pair. Okay, now let's take another one pair. Let us take 2x plus 3y equals to 9. 2x plus 3y equals to 9 and sorry 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0 and 4x plus 6y <coughs> 4x plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0 minus 18 equals to 0 <coughs> let this be the second pair ok similarly first of all we find out the algebraic representation ok how to find out all of you know if you want pause the video do it yourself then check with me clear or else just follow. So what is my first equation? My first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0. I need to form it in the y equals to mx form. And before that let me see that means here that means here a1 is 2, B1 is 3, and C1 is minus 9, right? Okay. And similarly, A2 is 4, B2 is 6, and C2 is minus 18. Am I correct? I think so. Okay. So form it, write it in y equals to mx plus c. That means 
that one will go that side and this will become plus. This gives us y equals to minus 2 by 3x plus. Understood? 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, same thing. Draw a chart. X, Y. So, 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 so. If I put X equals to 3. 3, 3 gets cancelled. Minus 2. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. If I put X equals to 6. Then 3, 2 is a 6. 2 into 2 minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3. Minus 1. Am I correct? If it is 3, minus 2 plus 1. If it is 6, minus 4 plus 2. Okay. So this is the solution for number 1. Number 2, what is the equation? 4x plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0. y equals to mx. 4x goes that side. Plus 18. Therefore, y equals to minus 4 by 6x plus 18 by 6 is 3. Right? Fine. This one I can do a bit more simplification. 2 to the 4 to 3 to the 6. That means minus 2 by 3x plus 3. So, x and y take two values. Now see, if I put x equals to 3, if I put x equals to 3, then 3, 3 gets cancelled. Minus 2 plus 3 plus 1. Right? If I take x equals to 2, no, sorry, not 2, 6. If I take x equals to 6, then what happens? 3 to the 6, 2 to the 4, minus 4 plus 3, minus 1. Clear? Okay. Now, what should we do? We should draw the graph. Let me rub this one. Then it will be easier for me to draw the graph. You are thinking why Sam is not erasing this one, right? Later I will tell you. Top secret. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. X, Y, X dash, Y dash. Minus one. Minus two. One, two, five. Okay. So what are my points? So here X and Y the solution say it is 3, 1 and 6 minus 1. And here x y is equals to 3 1 oh both are same very funny so 3 1 so this is 3 this is 1 so this is 3 1 and 6 minus 1 so this is 6 this is 1 6 minus 1 join this sign extend it both the sides so this becomes my straight line 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0. So this one will be this line only. So this is the same 4x plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0. Clear? Understood? Fine. Now let's do one more pair. Let's do one more pair. 
let's do one more pair which one should i do x plus 2y minus 4 x plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0 2x plus 4y 2x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 ok so this is my third pair now from here let me find out a1 a1 is 1 A1 is 1, B1 is 2, and C1 is minus 4. Okay, now A2, I hope you can understand, right? How I am finding out the A1, B1, and A2 into? If not, just go back to class 9 video. A2 is 2, B2 is 4, and C2 is 12 minus 12. Okay, so now we have to solve it or represent it as the degree. So x plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. Or if x goes that side minus x plus 4 or y equals to minus half x plus right so what should be my so if I take x equals to 2 cancel minus 1 plus 2 1 if I put x equals to 4 to do the 4 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 0 right so here my solution comes 2 1 and 4 0 ok let me try out the second one 2x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 or 4y equals to minus 2x plus 12 therefore y equals to minus 2 by 4 that means minus half x 12 by 4 12 by 4 12 by 4 means 3 that means for my second equation if I put x equals to 2 then it becomes cancel minus 1 plus 3 2 minus 1 plus 3 2 if I put x equals to 4 to do the 4 that means that means to do the 4 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 Am I right? Let me check it out. If 2, 2, two cancels, minus 1 plus 3, 2. If I put 4, 2, 2 is a 4. 2 into minus 1, minus 2 plus 3, 1. Okay. Now we have to represent it in geometrically. That is in graph. That is in graph. How? Let us see. So this is our graph number 2 ok x y x dash y dash 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 2 3 4 ok ok now so this the solution is 2 2 
and 4 1. So 2 1, 2 1. This point 4 0, 4 0. This point that means this line. I should have drawn it in the blue color. Anyway, never mind. So this is for the equation x plus 2y x plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. Then for the next one, 2, 2. 2, 2. This one and 4, 1. 4, 1. This one. So join this two. Extend. So this is for our equation. 2x plus 4y. 2x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0. Okay. Understood. Algebraic representation and geometric representation. Clear? Okay. 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 Now what? Now what? Can you see any 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 typical thing in these three graphs? One, two, and three. Can you see any typical things in these three graphs? Tell me, first tell. Cannot, right? Because you don't have eyes. See, in this, the two lines are intersecting. Can you see? Here, the two lines are intersecting. In this graph or in this geometrical representation, the two lines are same. That means coinciding. This case is intersecting. This one coinciding. And in this one, you see, it's neither intersecting nor coinciding. It's parallel. This is parallel. So whenever you will be representing geometrically any linear equation with two variables, always you will find these three possibilities. Either they will be parallel or they will be intersecting or they will be, they will be coinciding. Clear? Understood? Okay. So from here we will go to solutions. Solutions means what will be the value of x and what will be the value of y. Now for parallel, you see they are never meeting. So there will be no solution. There will be no solutions. No solutions. Here the solutions will be definitely you will be getting one solution. Definitely you will be getting. And here you will be getting many solutions. So here you will be getting no solutions. Here you will be getting many solutions. And here you will be getting unique solution. This is called unique solution. Unique solution means only one solution. Clear? Understood? All these you have done in class 9 also for class 10 students. Okay? Okay, now let us frame out something. Which one should I love? Let me love this one. Let me raise this one. Okay, I want to make a chart. How to make a chart? How to make a chart? Okay, let me write here. See, for this one, we get intersecting, right? This one, we got intersecting. 
For this one, number two, we got coinciding. Coinciding. And this one we got parallel. So intersecting, coinciding, and parallel. Now with the kind permission, can I raise it? Because I need to make a chart. The chart by which you can easily understand which one will have unique solution, which one will have no solution, and which one will have many solutions. Clear? Algebraically. And graphically also you can understand <coughs> which two equations will intersect each other, which two equations will coincide, which two equations will be parallel. Okay. So, 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 first let's draw the chart. Let's say, how to draw the chart? Let's do like this. Mm. Equation. Okay. First let us write down the equation. X minus 2y equals to 0. 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. This is 1. This is 1. Then, then, then comes 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals to 0. 4x plus 6y minus 18 equals to 0. This one, number 2. And x plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. 2x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0. Clear? Have I wrote the equations correctly? Okay. Now, now, let us find out the ratios. I cannot take so long, long lines or blocks. I have to cut short because my board is not so big. My board is not like the white board of your school, right? Okay. I just want to find out the ratios of A1 by A2, B1 by B2, and C1 by C2. Okay. So A1 by A2. A1 by A2 means here it is coming 1 by 3. Right. Here it is coming 1 by 3. So 1 by 3. B1 by B2. Minus 2 by 4. Minus 2 by 4. Minus 2 by 4 means if you reduce it, it will be coming minus half. It will be coming minus half and c1 by c2 0 by minus 20 0 okay second one 2 by 4 that means half 3 by 6 this one also half 9 by 18 minus minus gets cancelled 9 by 18 that is also half okay then the third one 1 by 2 then 2 by 4 2 by 4 means half then minus 4 by minus 12 minus minus gets cancelled 4 3 is 12 1 by 
थ्री राइट नाउ कैन यू सी कैन यू सी एनी सिमिलरिटीज कैन यू सी एनी सिमिलरिटीज कंपेयर 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 द रेशियोज कॉम्पेरिजन कॉम्पेयर द रेशियोज cannot see here minus half here also minus half here also minus half that means i can write a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 right yes or no okay this case also i can write a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2 a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 but it is not equals to c1 by c2 and here no one is same that means a1 by b1 a2 is also not equals to b1 by b2 right now from here what we can get the algebraic representation and also the geometric representation how how can i get or how can we get see in this case what was our algebraic representation what did i say it will be it will be unique solution unique unique solution that means only one solution this one this one means the second one infinite infinite solution infinite solution and this one parallel not intersecting that means it will have no solution is that clear so for the first case that means when a1 by a2 will be not equals to b1 by b2 then we will have only one solution when a1 by a2 will be equals to b1 by b2 we will have infinite number of solutions and when a1 by a2 will be equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2 there will be no solution and the geometric representation already written here this one the two lines will intersect each other intersecting this one the two lines will be on the same line that means coinciding and this one just now we draw it will be parallel clear so based on this or observing these ratios without finding out algebraically or without drawing the graph we can easily say whether a pair of linear equations will be intersecting will be coinciding will be parallel for algebraic representation we can say whether it will have a unique solution a infinite solution or no solution so what you need to do whenever you get a pair of straight line sorry pair of linear equations if the question is state whether this will have an infinite solution or unique solution or no solution just find out a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 take their ratios see how they are if a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2 no solution if it is a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to c1 by c2 there will be infinite solutions and if a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 there will be only 
one solution. Is that clear? This is all about representation of a pair of linear equations. Understood? Clear? Okay. That means from here what can we write? The intersection will have only one solution. The coinciding one will have infinite solution. And the color is to have no solution. Clear? Understood? This chart you get in the book. No need to copy. Clear? If you want to copy, copy in your mind, in your heart, not in the book or in the copies. Okay. What else is there? Solution, solution. The problems, we are only, only giving you the problems. Now we have to teach you how to solve it. The equation is x minus 2y equals to 0. Number 1, then 3x plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. Number 2. There are two methods of solving the linear equations. Number one, the method is called substitution. Tuition. Substitution. What do you mean by substitution? To substitute. So take equation number one. Say x minus 2y equals to 0. Find out any value. Either x or y. In terms of the other. Let me find out the value of x. Therefore, x is equals to 2y. Right? x is equals to 2y. If 2y goes that side. Now, substituting, you have to write all these things. Substituting the value of x in equation 2, what we get? 3x. So instead of x, we will be writing 2y. This is called substitution. We are substituting x. <coughs> Here is 3x. So I will not write x. I will write the value of x. That's why the method is called substitution. Plus 4y minus 20 equals to 0. Or 6y plus 4y. This 20, take that side, or 10y equals to 20, therefore y equals to 2. Got it? y equals to 2. Now, again, substituting y equals to 2 in equation 1 x minus 2y so x minus 2 into 1 why I will not write I will write the value of y sorry is equals to 0 or x 2 into 2 4 will go that side 4 that means my solution is answer x and y is equals to or I can write in this form also x is equals to 2 where got x? sorry x is equals to 4 who said 2? x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 2 understood? now see how many solutions you got? x is equals to 4 y is equals to 2 only one solution you see here we have already written there will be only one solution understood? clear? Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is substitution method. Let's do the same sum in elementation method. We will do the same sum in eliminating method. The next method is eliminating 
Minating matter. Eliminate means what to say? Like here is two variables x and y. You just off one variable, either x or y, either x or y. Now see, here is two y. What you have to do? Always you have to select one. Which one you need to eliminate? Here I want to eliminate y. So the value, the variable which you want to eliminate, you have to make their coefficients same. So this is two. This is four. So what I can do? I can, I can multiply this by two and multiply this by one. So what it comes? If I multiply it by two, two into x, two x minus two to the four y equals to two into zero zero, and this one into one means three x plus four y minus twenty. This twenty, let me take this side. Clear? Understood? Now what should I do? You see, this is minus four y. This is plus. So if I add these two, addition, that means I am adding, add. So this one and this one gets cancelled. Two plus x comes to five x equals to twenty. Therefore, x is equals to four. Now put the value of x in any equations. So putting. X equals to four in one. So x minus two y. That means four minus two y is equals to zero. Or minus two y is equals to minus four. Or y is equals to minus four by minus two. Or y is equals to two. Therefore, what's my answer? My answer is x equals to four. And y equals to two. Understood? Clear? Okay. Now the thing is, what will you do if this one becomes plus? Suppose, suppose let me assume that this is plus. So two into two means four y. Here four y. Okay. Now you see, you cannot add. If you add this one, it will be two plus three five x. If you add this one, it will become eight y. So neither your x is eliminating, neither your y is eliminating. So what to do? In this case, we will subtract. We will subtract, and subtraction means change the sign. This is plus, so this will be minus. This is plus. This will be minus. This is plus. This will be minus. Right? What happens if we change? If we subtract? See? Can you understand? Okay. Two x plus four y minus three x plus four y. Right? This was minus twenty. So minus twenty. This was your equation. Now this one, what should you write? Two x plus four y. So this is minus inside. All the signs will change. So minus three x minus four y plus twenty. You see, two x plus four y minus three x minus four y plus twenty. Both that's why becomes minus twenty. Understood? Clear? Okay, now solve it. Two minus three x minus x. Now it gets cancelled. Zero minus twenty minus twenty minus minus gets cancelled. So it becomes twenty. Again, put the value of x in one. So putting the value of x. In equation one, twenty plus two y equals to zero, or two y equals.
equals to minus 20 or y equals to minus 10. Therefore, for this sum, my answer will be x equals to 20, y equals to minus 10. Is that clear to you? One more method is there for solving linear equations, pair of linear equations in two variables. That is cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. But for this year, for this year, <coughs> those who are in CBSE, this year in the sense 2020-2021, those who are going to appear their board exams, CBSE or ICSE 2021, let me intimate you, maybe you all know that the board, the CBSE board as well as other boards also deleted this cross multiplication from your syllabus due to COVID-19 environment because nowadays we are in a great problem you know we cannot go to the schools we cannot go to the cooking classes we cannot meet each other we cannot discuss with anybody only over the phone and over the laptop and over the computer right so, we rest assured, cross multiplication will not come in any exam. Clear? So, my dear students, practice this chapter more and more. This is going to be a very, very important chapter for you throughout your life. Whatever stream you take, I tell you, later you can come to know why. Okay? If any problem is there, if by chance you cannot do any sum, don't hesitate to write it in the comment section. You can be rest assured, I will get back to you. Clear? Bye-bye.